dreaming, burgeoning Dallas-Fort Worth. Famed for its growth and prosperity, yet esteemed in free enterprising and positive thinking, our region is a shining beacon in the heart of the greater Southwest. When you come to Dallas, first off, what anyone wants to do is see cowboys. And you know, we are a people of the earth and the land, but we're tomorrow's cowboy. To the first time visitors to Dallas, uh, I would say, if you want to be a part of a can-do community, come to Dallas. I came to Dallas almost 50 years ago. I was attracted here by the fact that it was a modern city, it was clean, it was well run, it had an entrepreneurial spirit about it. It was a great place to live and a great place to raise a family. When I stepped off that train in 1938, the population was 285,000. I've seen a lot of change. The beginning of the 20th century saw the most dramatic growth spurt for the city of Dallas. And in the spring of 1909, the Dallas Regional Chamber was formed. We have historically done well when other parts of the country have not done as well because we had the right people do the right things at critical times in the, in the city's evolution. In 1910, the Chamber Board created the Kessler Plan. The plan included preliminary construction of what eventually would become Central Expressway and the salvaging of the Trinity floodplain. Clearly, the redevelopment of the Trinity has the potential to make Dallas distinctive around the world. The Trinity River Project is going to change the face of this city. It will ensure that we have the transportation that we need to continue to grow. It will be recreation. It will be economic development opportunities that we've never seen. Uh, something that can't be overlooked is the development of the great universities in this area. I personally think the SMU campus is just absolutely remarkable. Uh, commencing with SMU, but certainly including the University of Texas at Dallas, the University of Texas at Arlington, the University of North Texas, all great institutions. It makes for a wonderful array of educational opportunities and economic benefits for this region. The continuing drive of our business community cannot be overstated. Here at the Federal Reserve Bank, which came to Dallas in 1914, this is a clear example of what the Dallas Chamber did as one of the first items on its agenda as an organization. In late 1928, the Chamber aggressively marketed Dallas to prospective transportation, manufacturing, distribution, and petroleum companies and the favorable response brought several companies to Dallas over the following decades. Our first relocation of a headquarter company uh, 55 years ago was uh, the dresser industries. During my lifetime, the city of Dallas has gone from a well-respected regional center of commerce and activity to a national center of excellence to an international city. The fourth largest metro in the United States we're strong in banking and finance services. We are strong in technology. We're strong in health care. When you think of Parkland Hospital today, you're talking about a new $1 billion hospital that's surrounded by a world-renowned research institution like UT Southwestern Medical Center with four Nobel laureates. You think of Children's Medical Center, Baylor Healthcare System, Texas Health Resources. It really has come to a huge level from where we were 40, 50 years ago. Starting in 1950, the Chamber Aviation Department began its work to bring new airline service to Dallas, first by way of Love Field and later to DFW International Airport. Well, we're really fortunate to have the infrastructure and transportation of two major airports, of course DFW, but then the other great asset that we have is Love Field. The city's investing $600 million in a new terminal, and we're excited about that. In the last century, the great metropolitan centers of this country were built around large bodies of water. When the visionaries in North Texas that built DFW got together, the ads that were run at the time of the opening of DFW Airport that said, the air is our ocean. What they built here was a way to bring dynamic growth to this entire region. We've built beautiful new buildings in the commercial sector and the private sector. And of course, the best is yet to come this fall with the opening of the Winspear and the Wiley. It seems to me that the emergence and growth of the popularity of the arts has made Dallas a better place to live. A broad array of museums, 
the Meyerson. Uh, the Dallas Center for the Performing Arts. The Arboretum. I think that our area has the most retail space per capita than any other major metro area. I think it's a great place to shop. Uh, finally, all of our transportation facilities, including the Intermodal uh, Transportation Center in the southern sector, give us the opportunity for some wonderful advances here in this region. Dallas is a remarkably beautiful city. You could spend a day just driving around the city. Head down the Interstate 30. Through Arlington. Tom Landry Freeway. Seeing the great new Cowboys Stadium. Looking at the neighborhoods, the, uh, the downtown, the White Rock Lake. City Park. The great sculpture down by the Convention Center. Browsing through Neiman Marcus. The American Airlines Center. Our entertainment, our sports. The Dallas Star. If the Mavs are playing, that's my afternoon. The best thing is the people. I think the most enduring asset that we have are our people and the spirit of our people. We have a much more diverse membership in our chamber today than we had 30, 40 years ago when I started business in Dallas. The makeup of the chamber and its directors reflects the makeup of the entire community. The great natural resource that we have is our people. And it's because we have got the can-do attitude this spirit of independence and entrepreneurship. That's what North Texas is about, and that kind of person is the person that's gonna create a great future, a great city for tomorrow. We have, in fact, come of age. The focus in 1909 remains today to promote prosperity through public policy, economic development, and member engagement.